Welcome to the IWS Blood and Drain Setup Movie. On the side of the tank are two pipes marked fill and drain. Connect the fill pipe to the top outlet and the drain pipe to the bottom outlet. Make sure that this elbow is almost horizontal. This stops water falling directly onto the pump. Pull the blue pump socket out of the tank and connect it to the brain. Mount the timer and connect the grey cable to the underside. Take your sealing glands and remove the nut and one washer. Screw the sealing gland through the hole in the bucket. Now refit the washer and nut on the inside of the bucket. Tighten the nut with a spanner, but take care not to over tighten. Repeat this with all your pots. Place your stands on the floor, leaving enough room for each plant to grow. The stands are designed with a 15 degree slope to allow all the nutrients to drain away. Place all your buckets onto the stands with the gland located in the groove. Next we're going to connect the pots to the brain. Measure and cut the feed pipe into lengths. In this case each lane will service two pots, so the order would be brain, to a T and then to an elbow. You're going to need some hot water at this point. First, we're going to add the elbows and tees. Slide the fitting into the gland and tighten. There are six outlets on the brain. Connect a straight and a length of pipe to each outlet. Now connect your pipe to the fittings. Warming the ends of the pipe will make this much easier. Next, add your inner pots and a copper disc to each, with the copper side facing up. The copper disc will stop the roots blocking up the fittings. Now you can fill each pot with your chosen growing medium. The aqua pot shown here is great for pebbles. But if you prefer cocoa mix, we offer the culture pot. Now you're ready to fill your nutrient tank. Switch the power on and you're ready to go. Please go to the IWS Flood and Drain System in Action to see how the system works.